All right. So this is the Cabot house. There was definitely something going on here. Cabot house requires key. Go away. What? Go away. Oh, I should have worn my I should have worn my clothes that makes me smarter. Uh, let's see. I told you to go away. Come on. Uh huh. I'd really like to come in. You seem nice enough, but trust me, you don't want to come inside. Yes, I do. Come on, let me in. You're not gonna give up, are you? Nope. Have it your way. Doors unlocked. Come on in. That really does sound like a ghoul. I'm not gonna lie. Either way. <clears throat> Not gonna, we're not, not gonna be big at, big at or anything, but um, I'm going to wear my armor. Hold very, very still. Now tell me what you're doing here. Hello. Oh shit. Uh, why did you let why me in? Why did you let me in if you were just gonna kill me? You kind of insisted. Remember. I also wanted to get a look at you. I don't like to kill people. If I don't have to. Edward? Who is it? Don't worry about it, Jack. I got it under control. Edward, don't be so hasty. I like the look of this fellow. Please, <sighs> accept my apologies for Edward's behavior. Are you... He's just looking out for me, but sometimes he can be overzealous. I'm Jack Cabot. Welcome to Cabot House. You know... Both of you are kind of creepy. You both want to really have a look at me. That, um, I'm not having a good first impression here. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna lie about it. Actually, I'm, I'm going to lie. Pleased to Pleased meet you. Pleased to meet you, Jack. Pleased to meet you. Seems like a long time since we've had a visitor. Edward, I think this occasion calls for drinks. The good bourbon, eh? Come on, this way. There's no need to stand talking in the front hall like savages. I don't need to stand talking like you're savages. That fucking sound of voice, though. All right, Please. let's have a drink. Have a seat. Whoever lives. You know what? These guys seems like they need to be persuaded. Yeah, uh, must have made a deal with the devil. One way or another. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really? Oh, am I? Interrupt, Edward. I'm an this. employee now. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Yes. I have an universe alien blaster. Is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet, the very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Okay, that actually is interesting. Aliens created the civilization? Whatever. You think aliens created human civilization? Of course he does. Shouldn't everyone? I mean, how do you know they aren't? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures, Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I... Tell him what I need him to do. I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What the fuck? I... I, <laughs> I never even got the question whether or not I was... Interested in working for you, but all right, get to work. I'm ready to get to work. Good. 
That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Nope. What the fuck? No, I don't need any fucking info, okay? Watch this for package. For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. yep. All set. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Hey, how's it going? No, I do not plan on getting killed. We are here. Supposed to get in and get a package, I guess. Uh, am I supposed to shoot you? This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty yeah. sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. All right. Thanks. Thanks for your help. I guess we know our next stop. Sure thing. Hey. What? Be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you dislike that, McCready? Are you kidding me? It's just... It's just talking. Recover the package. Okay, I have to remove another mission or something. No? Okay. What? I have two missions or? Alright, fuck it. I'm going north. Doesn't matter. We're heading north. Last I saw those guys, we ended up in a firefight. They didn't seem to like me too much. Okay, so we're going up to this tower again. I've already investigated the whole area here before. Okay, no, we're not going to the tower. Scratch that. You know what, McCready? I know you might not like me taking drugs and all that, but I don't give a shit. At least there is glowing fungus. I see a lot of people not picking that up. I can't believe they don't see the value of it, but hey, not everyone likes crafting, I guess. Okay, so there is definitely something here. Come on, you promised you'd share. You promised you'd share. How do I get stuck with whiny little punks like you? Maybe left me more. Who's there? Hmm. There's just, it's just one or. No, no, no there's two. Okay. Oh, 
Uh. Just getting warmed up over here. One guy down. Uh. Two guys down. Have fun. Very meant that it's just too good. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. Nope. Mysterious serum. S Mysterious serum, okay. I guess that's f probably for... But it said something about its ability, didn't it? Damage resistance. Whoa, red. Removes 36,000 reds. Damage resistance. <laughs> if I take it, do I fail the mission? Perhaps it's the cure for ghoul, ghoulus, ghoulization. Ghouli, ghoulimization. Ghoulish, ization. Let's consider this place finished. And let's go back to Cabot House. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, a... Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. This Again. sounds like a job for me. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so... So did you find out what happened to the courier? Yeah, I did. I did. But uh, I was I listening to the... You don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not the other ones. Um, yeah, let me see, let me see. Raider ambush. some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? If your father were here, he'd send Huh. Fuck. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's All right. not going to be happy about it. Come on. Imogene takes a lover. Perhaps I should be the lover. Oh, what am I saying? Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> can't you see his busy standing on the table? <laughs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You uh -huh. probably figured that out yourself. No, I She's, thought it was... Uh, a little Daughter. flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Okay, so this has happened before, I guess. I'll bring no her problem. home. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. Yeah, don't, I don't worry. I can gone, persuade her. But I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there. The third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll start in good neighbor. Oh my god, you guys. You guys can't fucking do anything on your I own. I can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Optional. Ask around... Th ask around the third rail about... Emogene. 
third rail. Yep. I'll go there. I'll go there. Time to wear the persuasive clothes. I don't think I'm gonna need um, drugs for it, but... Do I have it if I need it? Yeah, grape mantis. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Shut up. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Who should I talk to? Huh? Hello. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes. Hey, thought yeah. she was gonna sing "Hit the Road, Jack." Well, it be. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia. Yep. This guy wants a word. What? 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 Um. Hmm. Oh, okay. What's the matter, Handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Oh, the song was lovely. I love the song. It was perfect. She's one of the reasons why this is such a great place to lie low. Oh, well, thank you. Oh. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell yep. me. Yep. Let me guess. Guess hmm. away. I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Mm. The music. I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and yep. I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? Yep. What can I do for you? Oh, I can flirt with you, huh? Well, let's do it then. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Hmm. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Oh, I should have taken that drug. Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. What? We're going on a date? Okay. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Oh, okay, I didn't expect this. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I didn't expect this, but okay. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always gonna be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. All right. Hey. Well, we're not I done here. We back. no, we're not done. What the? F what? A, what a complete waste of time! Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I have to go. You take care. I'll see you around, good neighbor. Okay. So instead of <laughs> instead of focusing on my mission, I got laid. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know what to say, mission failure or something, then again, I'd probably do it again, and Hugh McCready, huh, were you in on it, dirty motherfucker, it's coming to them. they got what was coming for them, big shit storm at Bunker Hill, huh, enjoy your stay, Can I fucking yeah. talk to yeah. you now? Order up. Hey there. Forever hold you looking your damn for me? Mouth shut. What can I do for you? Oh yeah. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? 
Imogene? Sure, I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Yeah, she's missing. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. All right. Hmm. So hard to know which option to choose here. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! All right. Would you come over here a minute? Who? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were Peter of the community, okay? Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Yeah, well, at least I can get rid of you. So this is an optional uh, part of the quest that I didn't have to do, and I guess was a bit of a waste, wasted time, I don't know. I don't know. Um, something on P, right? Jesus Christ, going through this. Pillar, ah, Pillars of the Community Flyer. Do you feel your life isn't what you wanted? Are you looking for a change? Blah, 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 blah. All right. I'm sure that was, was very interesting. All right. Oh, shit, I need to put on my better clothes. I hear shooting. Okay, somebody's died here. That's the gunners. I'm getting XP points for doing nothing. Oh, it's these guys. Yeah, die, motherfucker, whoever you are. Oh, I wanted to get it. Huh? No offense, super mutant, but. Shit! What? Damn! Holy shit! 
Oh, something is shooting me. Save me some trouble and give up already. <coughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh, the radiation is from that vertebrate, I guess. Younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, <laughs> I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Okay. Is that what the serum is about? Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society. Back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before, with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Yep, I'll steal some ammo first. Ah, oh, stealing. So McCready likes it if I steal. And now he idolizes me. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Well, let's talk then. Yo, psst. Need something? Hold up. I think we need to talk. What's on your mind? This has been nagging at me for a while. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. Wooden soldier toy. Okay. Thank you. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. Okay. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake. They were okay. on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. What are you talking about? You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Hmm, should I romance him? Hey man, only best friends can share feelings like that with each other. And I aim to keep it that way. Anyway, thanks for hearing me out.
Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey... Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think? Yep. Okay, having reached the highest level of affinity with McCready. Killshot perk. Okay, so I probably need to have that... Um, whatever it's called. That toy soldier or whatever. Thanks to your relationship with McCready, headshots accuracy in VATS is increased by 20. That was the worst possible perk I could even possibly get. I never use VATS. Ever. Ever. Period. Oh. What a complete fucking waste.